So we want to implement email verification on sign up in our login system. In the previous episode, we handled the backend of this using Node.js and MongoDB. In this episode, we implement the frontend with React.js and link it to the backend. We build on this React.js login project that we created in the past episode. I will link it up here and also in the description below. If we get this to work, please leave me a like and subscribe. So without wasting anyone's time, let's get started. So on the command line, we locate our project and run it. Now we open the project in the code editor. Inside the source directory, we see all the files that we created. Now back on the command line, let's start the project. So we see the output of our work. This is what we achieved in that video. Now for the email verification, it starts with a sign up. So let's go to the code editor and follow the flow of the sign up in our application. Now the sign up page can be found under pages. So inside the on submit property of Formic, we see that if everything is fine, that is, if all the input fields are correctly filled, we call a sign up user function. And this function is a Redux action. We can see that we imported it from Redux over here. So let's visit the action in the auth directory. Now once we enter the action, we see that we are making use of remote links here. But for now, we will be working with a locally hosted backend. So let's create variables for the various links. We will keep the actual link and get rid of the endpoint. Now we create another one for the local. Now the last variable will store the current link that we are using. So we can use this variable to update all the APIs being called. So we change this to backticks. We'll do the same for the sign up. Now once we've done that, we focus on the sign up section here. Now at this point where our sign up is successful and we dispatch a login, we would rather check for pending and return a message page. Remember our server is returning pending at this point. Now we make use of history here to visit the message page. We will call the route to the page email sent, which we will create shortly. Now we want to pass the email here as a parameter to the link. So we change this to backticks. Once we've done that, we can get rid of the password here since we don't need it. For the complete submission, we can bring it outside. Now inside app.js, we create our route. 
So we copy and paste the sign up route. We will call the component email sent. For the parameter we are passing, we will call it user email. We are passing the email because on the email sent page, we want to display the user's email. We need to import the email sent component and create it. Now in pages, we create the email sent component. Now for the start, we copy the content of the dashboard. Once we are here, we start making some changes. We will not be making use of Redux in this file, so we can get rid of all the Redux related things. At this point, we import the use params hook from React Router DOM to access our parameter. Now let's change the content of the component. At this point, we want to make use of the bold tag around the email. Now at this point, the button that we have here will be changed to proceed. And we get rid of the onclick function. Now we'll point the button to the login page. Once again, we want to pass the email to the page. We want to use the email that we've passed here to pre-populate the email field on the login page. So in the app.js, let's make a change to the login route. To the path, we attach the email. But we want this email parameter to be optional, so we add a question mark. Now inside the login.js, we fetch the parameter. So once again, we'll bring in use params from React Router. Now once we have the value here, we set it as the initial value of the email. So in the forming component, under the initial value, we assign it to the email. Now back in the actions, let's go to the login section. At the point where we check for the specific error and set the error message, let's add the email here. As you can see, we are not checking for email yet. So we can copy and paste this. We are doing this because some of the messages which will be coming from the backend will target the email field. To make this effective, you want to change the message to lowercase. Now once we've done this, we can save it and the whole process should be working now. So now let's ensure that both the server and the frontend are running and try it out. 
So over here we see that our front end is still running. And on the other command line, let's run our server. So we enter the directory of our server and start it. Now our server is running and ready for our messages. Now before we try out the sign up, I forgot something so let's add it. At the end of the local URL, we need a forward slash. If we don't bring it, it is not going to work right. So once you've added that, we can visit the browser and try out the sign up. Now on sign up, we see that we are told to check our email for a confirmation link. So let's check our inbox to see if the link is there. So inside our inbox, we see that we've received the email. Now before we click on the link, let's try and log in. So we click on proceed here to lead us to the login page. Also we see that our email has been pre-populated. Remember, this is the password that we used to sign up. Now we see that we are told that the email hasn't been verified yet. So we are supposed to check our inbox for the confirmation link. So now let's go ahead to confirm our email. Now we see that our email has been verified. Now let's go back and log in. Now once we log in, we see that it works and we see welcome Jenny Jackson on the screen. So we've been able to add email verification to our login application using React, Node.js, and MongoDB. If you learned something from this episode, please leave a like and subscribe. You can also buy me a coffee using the link in the description below. Also, if you'd like us to add forgotten password to the login system, leave a comment on that. And that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.